Hey there, sport. Welcome to my practice. Thank you for seeing us here. Well, I appreciate you uh, seeing me, sir. Whoa. Did you just assume my gender? Oh, uh, yeah, I guess... Sorry, um... What are you? I'm a doctor. My pronouns are we, us. Oh. Okay. Well, um, the reason I, I came in to see you today is... I have this, uh... Well, uh, before we get to that, what we like to do here is start with a few simple intake questions. That way we're better equipped to get to the bottom of what's bothering you. Sound good? Sounds good. Age? 35. Height? Uh, five foot five. Uh, is that standing against a wall without shoes? Yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Do you stand with Ukraine? Um, what? Do you stand with Ukraine? <laughs> Why does that matter here? Oh, it just helps me understand if you stand with Ukraine or not. Okay, well, yeah, yeah, I guess so, yeah. Let me just note that in your chart. Um, why is it taking you so long to write that down? Oh, it's not the quickest thing to draw. And your weight? 125 pounds. You're not overweight? No, I, I exercise a lot. I, I really like to stay fit, you know? That's terrible. Yeah, I run... Wait, what? Well, you being fit, as you like to call it, that's not very positive towards the body positivity community. It's quite shaming towards them, actually, and that's not very healthy. We need to add about 87 pounds of obesity to you. You want me to be overweight? But that's unhealthy and would put me at risk of heart disease, wouldn't it? No, <laughs> I don't think that exact correlation correlates anymore. I think it actually does. Being obese is really bad for your heart and cardiovascular system. <laughs> Where did you hear that? It's very common scientific knowledge. Oh, no, 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 no. That's outdated science that's been disproven by the new science of the body positivity community. I mean, <laughs> that whole paradigm, that's just as archaic as using leeches for bloodletting to try to cure illness. <laughs> Don't be silly. Um... Trust me, I'm a doctor. Okay. Doctor, we have an extremely ill patient in critical condition in room five, and we're all out of leeches. What are his vital signs? Pronouns are she, they, pro-abortion, stands with Ukraine, and happily denies the existence of the New World Order. Okay, uh, I think I saw more leeches in the ditch out behind our building. Wait! If the patient's in critical condition, you'll probably want to hurry. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> okay. Where were we? My weight. Oh yes, I'll prescribe you some trans fats to help cure you of being at an ideal weight. And what's your gender? I'm a male. Isn't that obvious? <laughs> I have a beard. Mm, no, not obvious at all. I thought you were like a body hair activist. I mean, talk about people doing God's work. Those animals are really making a difference. And have you ever been pregnant? No, I can't say that I have. Um, wait. You haven't been, or you have been, and just can't say you have. I have not been pregnant. Did you start menstruating? I'm a man. Yep, I've got that noted. And did you start menstruating? I've never had my period. Oh my word, there must be something wrong with your hysterical glands. I'll have your gynecologist fax over your genital records, and I'll take a look at those. I don't have a gynecologist. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll refer you to a good one. And family history, was your nuclear family intact? Yes. Gross. Did your mother have an abortion while she was pregnant with you? I don't think she did, no. Oh, so she's a Republican? Did Child Protective Services ever remove you from the home? No. Well, they should have. <sighs> and do you support Black Lives Matter? Well, I support the statement. I don't really support the organization, no. No, you can't do that. Uh, they're the same. No, I think they're actually quite different. Simple question. Do you support Black Lives Matter? It's not a simple question. Are you racist or not? No! Okay. Supports BLM. Does cancer run in your family? No, not much. My grandfather had skin cancer. Okay. And how many months do you celebrate Pride Month for each year? I don't know. A good couple? Mm, that's great. And are you fully vaccinated for rabies? I don't think that's approved for human use. <laughs> that doesn't really matter to us anymore. And with a new one, are you fully boosted? I'm not, no. Okay, well, you've at least had your initial dose. Haven't you? No. 
That's not a problem. It's not? No, not at all. We'll take care of that right now. Ooh, that, that's a lot of needles. Sure is. It's your initial dose in all your boosters. We're just gonna cut you up real quick here. Ow! That really hurt. Which brand are these? All of them. And do strokes or heart attacks run in your family? No. They will now. And what's your ethnicity? African American, Latin American, Latinx, Pacific Islander, Asian American, Asian, Asian but not Chinese Asian, American Indian, or Eastern Spiritual Indian? I'm white. Hmm, no, that's not an option. Why isn't being white an option? It's just not very good for diversity. Okay, but I'm white, okay? It's just the way I am, it's the way I'm born. I don't, you're white too, I don't understand. Did you just assume my race? Yeah, because I can observe that you're white. I'm not white. What are you? I'm a doctor. You know, to be honest, it actually doesn't seem like you are. Are you even a real doctor? Yes, of course. There's my medical degree. It doesn't look real. I assure you, I'm a real doctor. Where'd you go to medical school? Oh, I, I didn't go to medical school. Then how are you a real doctor? Because I identify as a doctor. That doesn't make you a real doctor. Uh, yes, it does. How does just saying you're a real doctor actually make you a real doctor? Because I said words indicating the thing I want to be. And when I said those words, I said them with a sense of conviction as though what I say I am Am correlates with the truth of who I am, it's really a flawless system. <laughs> but that doesn't always correlate, just because... Furthermore, I am very willing to intimidate people with anger and slanderous accusations while victimizing myself if they don't act in accordance with the words that I say I am, even though they are contradictory to objective reality. That's coercion. Exactly. That's why I'm a doctor. No, you're just pretending to be a doctor. You know what? I'm out of here. Why? Because you're not a real doctor. You are a hateful bigot. You are literally killing doctors in our community. You're a murderer. I hope you and your family literally burn to death in a way that doesn't emit carbon into the atmosphere. You're a doctor phobic bigot. Die, you monster. And I don't think you really stand with Ukraine. I think you were just saying it. And you have no idea how hard that is on me. Because you're not a real doctor. I can't believe the hatred. He thinks guys like you and I aren't real doctors? What is wrong with people? Sir, you've had seven patients die today and we just lost another one. Well, depopulation is part of medicine. Job well done. Thank you, sir. I'll, I'll go finish another one.